cracks and grooves and crevices. And I'm gonna start on the front, then we'll move to the back. When you put your paint, you cover up, and you take a little oil dry, and you rub it in. It fills in the little grooves and the cracks and the crevices. I'm going to lighten it up as we go. Now, it takes a little time to get them completely pristine. Already taking a little bit better shape, isn't it? How many years of experience have you had in this? I grew up in the Tennessee walking horse world, so uh, I'm, I'll be 38, I mean 48 this year. So it'll be my, I started training professionally when I was 18 because I couldn't go amateur, so 30 years. But now I've been out of showing big lit horses for three and a half, four years now. What is that, Carl? Different color. Why? Uh, Cause I got to lighten the foot up. You don't want, you don't want the skin any darker anywhere. Where did you buy that? It's a tax What's it called? This is a Shapely Show Touch-Up. If you know anybody that shows cows, you can get it there too, because they touch the cows up, their coats up when they show them. Now all I'm trying to do is buff just enough to get, his, to get most of his natural color back. There we go. Y'all starting to get the picture now? The little place on front right there has just almost disappeared, hadn't it? What's not there? Adhesive. 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 Sound about. You want this artificial hair to stick. Artificial hair? Yeah, it's topic like they use for bald men. I see. Now sometimes it takes the second, the third application. So you have to keep rubbing and keep tweaking until you get the right color. You ever seen any pictures of, of a big lick horse with a, from the ankle down with so much darker than the rest of the horse? Okay, the, 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 the grease that they use, the lubricant that, that's approved to use for the show is a clear lubricant. The reason the pasturings turn this color is all the stuff they have on there to cover the feet up. What's today's date, Carl, do you know? According to my Galaxy 5 Active, it is Thursday, August the 13th of 2015. What time is it? 11.22 a.m. Central? Yes, sir. Holly, you remember what it felt like while ago? Yes. And just rub your hand over it, because when they check them, they're not able to dig. They're just able to rub their thumb over it. Does it feel the same? No, it's really... Really smooth, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And he wasn't even wrapped last night. If I had had him wrapped in 
Dermalone or Panalog or something like that to have a shrinking effect. And when you take the plastic off, most of the scurf comes off real, real, real easy. So that's the front part. That's not a perfect job, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you go to a horse show and stand out close to inspection, it's not uncommon with a horse this color for you to have horses come to inspection with very, lots of variations of different color feet. Now we're gonna work on the back. It's medium brown. And you just do the same thing on Now do the same thing back here. Now you can see he don't like this. Really and truthfully, to make this work the best, like I told you before, I would have had to have a little burnt motor oil in sulfur to put on here to fill in these grooves. But since this horse, they're trying to sound him up, I opted out of using that. On the USDA swab testing for foreign substances, they found a lot of sulfur and motor oil, do they not, of the hydrocarbons in the sulfur? Yes. The question is asked a lot. I think it's just been answered as to what it used for, as to why they find it on these horses. No, no, he's, he's, he's pulling against me out of memory. If you look at his eyes and ears, you can tell he's not really happy, but he's enduring. Notice how he's just bending there letting him do it. Oh, this is familiar to him. Very familiar. Carl, talk about what you're doing, please. I'm using a, a touch-up type spray in oil dry to fill in these grooves and these cracks where this horse has got scurf and it has some abrasions on the skin before I apply my hair trying to cover up some abrasions from training. Did you say often trainers have what's known as a footman that's a specialist in preparing? Most of them, most of them to my knowledge do. Uh, of course, I've been out of the loop for just a short while. But it's commonplace you have to have somebody that really knows what they're doing to get these horses ready to go. There's no action. way with the time constraint and inspection that you can't go to a horse show without a footman if you take more than just a few horses. takes a little while and you have to keep applying, keep applying, keep applying, keep applying until it works out. So this is sort of a quick job. I mean, ordinarily it's, his horse's feet would have been wrapped in plastic, they'd have been soft and wouldn't have all the scurfing. So you're having to come in on top of an abnormal situation, oh yeah. right? Oh yeah. And you can already see the, the difference that's made in the horse's feet. Okay, but he's still got a different color. He does have a different color. I'm gonna work on that. But now, it's not uncommon. It's not uncommon at a horse show to have one go through inspection with a different color feet, especially a horse of this color. Why is that? Because 
<laughs> they prepare the foot for inspection. It changes the color a little bit. So if you have a black horse, you don't have to have as much finesse. No, skills. sir. If you've got a black horse, you're on easy street. And what are you putting on there? Oil dry. That's like what they use in uh, oil change racks and stuff yeah. like that. To yeah. Get the... yeah. It's plain old oil dry. <laughs> What's in plain old oil dry? I'm know? not sure what all the ingredients are. I think there's some peat moss in it. Right. You spend 30 years doing this stuff, you don't forget. This is like a bad dream come to reality for me. I didn't think I'd ever be under a horse again, preparing a set of feet in my wildest imagination. Because when you go through inspection, if the, if see this black stuff on my hands, if the DQP or the VMO gets any of this on their hand, they can prove foreign substance. So if it doesn't rub off onto the DQP or the VMO's hand, then they have to resort to the swab that they do, okay? They'll never use the swab because the chain of custody, the swab swaps hands several times after the sample is taken. So it's not anything that the USDA can use to prosecute. They can keep records maybe send a, wet, a letter of warning, but that's that's the extent of it. So you've got- And the trainers know that, correct? Oh yeah. Now, take that other foot out of consideration. His, his, his coat and his foot are pretty similar. Okay, this is, this is at the point where I'd be getting really close to going to inspection. And if you put a little moisture on that. Oh yeah, hair, the only thing, you, only thing you need now is a little bit of cowboy magic, just a little bit. Cowboy what? Cowboy magic. It has an oil base. So that's much better than it was when we started. It's got hair all over it. There is one little groove right here, but that's from the scurfing because he was dry legged in the stall. Carl. Yes. What's that? That's cowboy magic. Cool. What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna put it on my hands and rub his feet and rub a little more. I didn't didn't realize we had access to some cowboy magic. You can buy this at the local tax store and all the people say, well, all we got on our horse is a little bit of cowboy magic grooming. Okay, you and I've had the conversation before. And I know you said it one time, propanol and all that stuff, but common things like Gojo, WD-40, yes. Gentle Clean. Yes, Gentle Clean is most everybody's favorite. They can, they can make a mixture of, of what they use uh, in the Gentle Clean, and it doesn't take a whole lot of it, but it gets real good result. And the Gentle Clean's easier on the feet than a lot of the other stuff. It's got some lanolin and aloe vera and stuff like that in it. So it's a little easier on the feet to make a mixture out of that. Sports fans, we got a different set of feet here than we had a little bit ago. Now, to be perfect, I'd have had to erect him in plastic. After one? I would have had to erect him in plastic or had some uh, sulfur and burnt motor oil. But as you can tell, it's relatively easy. Okay, may I touch that? Sure. Or would this lady like to touch it? Maybe that would be. Yeah, that would be, and that would be the thing because you would want somebody to 
you would want somebody to touch it that had clean hands to see if you needed to rub a little more. Just rub your finger down it. Huh. What about the scars? Lady? Can you see any scars? I mean, once you just really... Just run your finger down right there. Whoop. Feels different, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, to finish this up, you would black his hoof. You dust his hoof off and go to inspection, and you might do one more application of your of your topic here. Thank you, Carl.